Hello, today. Welcome back to Weekend Edition. This is Rehash, where we recap the big stories of the week. And one of the biggest stories of this week, you covered, Nestor. Yeah, um, the week got off to a very tragic start, of course, with the terrorist attacks in um, Paris. Um, what we did was we had an opportunity to um, interview the uh, Guam Honorary Council for France, um, who is a longtime resident here, but uh, is originally from France. Her name is Joelle Weiner. And we got her reaction to the attacks, which of course she found to be very terribly um, sad news. And um, she offered her um, thanks to the people of Guam because she'd been following on social media the reaction of the Guam residents to what had happened, as, as has most people around the world, um, you know, the, the tragedy and the outrage um, and the, the mourning for the, the loss of life uh, in uh, France. So um, she had a lot of good things to say. She even quoted Voltaire. And um, yeah, that's how the week got off to a very um, sad start. And to add to that, I actually attended the Mayor's Council of Guam meeting, and the FBI spoke, and they were talking about how Guam might be thousands of miles away, but we are not immune to these types of attacks. And so mass gatherings should also be a, a place where we have high security. And one of those events that are coming up that are on the FBI here, their, their radar is the Fest Pack. And so a lot of security measures will have to be implemented kind of in response to what happened in France. But, you know, on a lighter note, Joan, oh. I understand we have some fun things going on in, in the mix. Uh, yeah, so, you know, we kick off the uh, second annual um, cookie ex KOM News Cookie Exchange. Um, it was uh, so much fun and such a success last year that we decided to do it uh, again this year. <coughs> and we started uh, things off. <coughs> with uh, Jason. <coughs> oh, oh, I'm sorry. I was just playing and, my throat. Um, yeah. yeah, those cookies were amazing. And your your guest baker was, was Janet. Janet Charlie. and Veronica Calvo. They invited me to their beautiful home in Mighty and we made amazing gingerbread cookies. And I know some of you may have got a whiff of the cookies before I basically like devoured them all in one shot. I missed it. Yeah. Okay. It was it was one it was one of those times where sharing was not a virtue because I was like, hey, these are good and these are mine. <laughs> and of course they can find like the the recipes and, and everything on yep. koam.com, right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and they go good with milk. Yes, <laughs> and it's being brought to you by Devondale Milk. So cookies and milk, perfect uh, perfect com combo. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's what's been going on. Um, we don't have an episode of In the Mix this, year, uh, this week because of with Thanksgiving coming up, but um, definitely tune in um, for more on the KOM News uh, Cookie Exchange. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, and on that note, my big thing for the last few weeks, you know, we've been coming on rehash and talking about you know we've got new features coming in the app and you know we've got a lot of different ways that we're changing our infrastructure and we're finally rolling that out like in just in time because when the weather started getting bad and we were hearing that there might be a tropical storm slash typhoon coming uh, we have new features in the app and on our site where the video quality and audio quality it's more hi-fi uh, it, it is able to support larger displays so it looks really good on much larger displays even what they call the lean back experience so if you're watching it in your living room uh, we are being able to deliver really high video, re tell really compelling stories, and do basically everything that you guys have been churning out. Uh, we also have a couple web exclusive uh, features right, right now because Sabrina, of course, had a really good extensive interview with former Senator Dr. Ali Namashita about her thoughts about raising an autistic child and her lifelong commitment to helping persons with disabilities on Guam. So you can actually see that. It's a really fascinating interview. And Sabrina and uh, Ali, they both talk about a litany of issues um, and topics, and I mean, it's a really good watch. Um, a bunch of other things, we got some Twitter polls going up right now. We're probing the community's um, thoughts on various things that are going on, and we just uh, have a lot going on interactively. So you can never get bored checking us out, basically. <laughs> and we're, we're everywhere. speaking of it, yes, we are everywhere. And being a reporter now, we have to Instagram, we have to tweet, we have to Snapchat, we have to everything. But speaking of videos, there was a video that was circulating on social media that prompted the Department of Education to actually launch an investigation at one of, a, uh, one of the northern high schools this week. And I covered that story, and basically what was happening, or what appeared in the video, was a, a, a high school student, a special needs student, who was being restrained by his one-to-one -one aid. And although uh, we, don't, we can't hear really the audio of what's, what's actually occurring in the video, the Department of Education has launched an investigation into this matter. It, it was very, I guess, alarming to some parents. And even to Aline Yamashita, like you were saying, she's a, a mother of an autistic child, mm -hmm. and she's calling out to the Department of Education to do more about special needs. Maybe that more training needs to occur, because currently all that's required is a high school diploma, and training is supposedly conducted as on the job. So if you have any stories you want us to cover, you can 
email us at reporters at KUAM.com or send us a message on Facebook. Tweet us. There's a lot of other ways to get a hold of us, but reporters at KUAM.com is the easiest way. More when the Weekend Edition returns. Thank you.